What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm talking about how to get 500 horsepower out of your N54 for less than $1,500. Some people call the M54 the 2JZ of the German engines, but I think it's even better than that. It comes with stock forged internals, which means you can run more power for less money. We've seen N54 motors run 800 horsepower with stock internals. Before we start modifying your motor, I do recommend that you make sure that your motor is ready for it. That means change your spark plugs, your coils, uh, fluid changes. I believe it's something people overlook all the time. My first modification for the M54 would be the dual cone cold air intake from either VRSF or BMS. It'll run you about a hundred dollars, but it'll let your turbo breathe a lot better and you'll get a little bit more noise from your motor. Don't expect too much performance gains from this mod, but it will help you later down the line. Our next modification would be a catalyst downpipe, again from VRSF. The OEM cat is very restrictive and limits the amount of airflow leaving your engine. This becomes an issue when you try to increase boost. With catalyst downpipes, you're able to push more air through, which means faster spool up time and higher boost pressure. This is the second mod on our list because bring more air into the motor, now we gotta get more air out the motor. For $350, probably one of the best bolt on mods for your N54. And you gain about 25 horsepower to the wheel. My next recommendation is the JB4. If you don't know what that is, it's a piggyback tuner. JB4 is a huge name when it comes to piggyback tuning. A piggyback tune is a little different from a flash tune and some people love it and some people hate it. JB4 makes tuning super simple. There's preset tunes in there for you, you just Pick on your app which one you want to be running. A new JB4 will cost you about $500. You can look at the used market and get them for about $350. That just depends on your preference if you really need something new or if you're okay with something used. But here's where you'll get anywhere from 60 to 100 horsepower. So it's one of the best bangs for your buck. And for why there's such a broad range on power gain, because it all depends on your supporting mods. Like I mentioned earlier, your cold air intake is now coming to effect. So now we're getting more air in, we're getting more air out. We have a tune on the car. Let's upgrade our intercooler. Again, going with VRSF and their seven and a half inch competition intercooler. If you don't know what an intercooler does, it cools the air coming from the turbo. Your OEM intercooler, now with the tune, we're running higher boost pressure, which your stock intercooler may not be able to handle anymore. And if you can't handle it, you'll start getting heat soak, which will result in loss of power. This intercooler does cost $400, but it's able to handle over 650 horsepower. Expect about 20 horsepower to the wheels with this upgrade. Our next mod is an MHD Flash for E85. MHD works real well with JB4, which will cost you about $150. Horsepower gain really depends on what flash you pick. But with those five mods, you are well at 500 horsepower. And they're all very simple mods to do in your own garage. For making it this far in the video, you guys, I got a couple more recommendations, which will help you go surpass 550, 600 horsepower. VSRF charge pipe, a stage three low pressure fuel pump. You could also upgrade your inlet and outlet on your turbo. VSRF again offers parts for that. That will give you about 50, 60 horsepower gain as well. So you're well on your way to 600 horsepower or even more, uh, just really depends on how much more money you were willing to throw at it. The first five mods I gave you guys will surely get you to 500 wheel horsepower on your N54. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And like always, we'll see you in the next video, you guys. Peace.